Hey, kids. What you doing down there? Weirdos. Anywho, we're uh, in Richmond, uh, Utah. Just dropped my trailer earlier and uh, gonna walk around a little bit, shake off some nerves and head to uh, my pickup. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to call those wind cocks. Oh, uh, there's the truck. I'm gonna do a little bit of filming today. I'm, uh, anytime that I feel like I don't wanna film, like I seriously don't wanna film. I just wanna do my job. I got, you know, a few hours on the clock to waste and I can go home, or at least head towards home. We're gonna try a couple uh, different camera angles. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, I'm just in one of those moods where I uh, kind of just want to hit the road and go. Hey, you can barely tell that I screwed up the front of my truck and might hit that fire hydrant. Anywho, as I said, we're going to... We're going to head towards home today. The truck got a little bit of a wash. Got ourselves a little, uh, a little free car wash, right? And, uh, yeah, we're going to hit the road. And like I said, we're getting, we're getting close to home. Close. I'm still 500 miles from home. For most people, they can't, they can't even imagine what 500 miles would be. You know, when I say, oh, it's only, it's only 500 miles. I'm trying to clip my camera onto the, an object worthy of camera placement. But yeah, I figured we'll, uh, we'll get going. Truck's running all right. The air conditioning's running good. I probably stepped out of camera, but uh, yeah, I think uh, I think we'll hit the road here. We'll call this a 30-minute break. Let's just hit the road. Catch the kids in a little bit. So, how we doing, kids? Long time no see. I have been out here profiteering and uh, haven't had time to record video. I haven't even had time to edit video other than the simple stuff I can do on my phone. Somebody forgot how to shift. It's pretty fast when you're bobtailing. That's 65 mile an hour right there. Oh crap, speed limit 60. <laughs> oh well. Uh, 2.2 miles. Gotta make a left. And I need air conditioning. It is 74 degrees outside. We have some thunderstorms there on the horizon. I have four hours and 48 minutes on my my little drivey clocky over there. My little Slave Driver 3000. My little Qualcomm over there. But yeah, so far I've driven 380 miles. I should be able to drive, what, another 380 more? Trying to get home, spend a day at home, and then what? Delivery, wait, tomorrow's, today's Saturday, tomorrow's Sunday. Tomorrow's Sunday. In one and a quarter mile, turn left on 
And in one and a quarter miles, I'm turning left on East Center Street. Jeez, I can't even... Okay, delivery's, delivery's Monday at 0700. So I get, I get a day at home and then wake up at 7 o'clock at night, I guess, or 8 o'clock at night, run over to Stockton, California and get delivered. Oh, my nose is itchy. Allergies, allergies, allergies. I'm glad I'm not like a public speaker or have a YouTube channel or anything like that because, man, I, I couldn't imagine having to listen to me. The idiot in the pickup truck behind me was tailgating me the whole friggin' way. I thought he wanted to go around, but no, he's following me. Hope he wants a fight. I'm in a fight mood. Turn left on See if he can catch up to me. Hey look, 55 mile an hour. <laughs> oh, stop driving angry. It's not healthy to drive angry, kids. Oh! You got a GoPro on the back of the cab. And uh, they're usually rated for like 170 mile an hour. But vibrations and stuff could probably knock it out, knock it loose. But yeah, we're gonna, oof, we're gonna make a left up here. And upon making a left, we will be arriving. Pickup truck didn't want to follow me no more. Settle down. Settle down. Come on now. Settle down. Turn left on East Two. Shut up! Hang out by the trash can over here. Stand by. Oh, I've lost every good pin that I own this week. I'm very sad about it. <clears throat> like right now, I'm using like cheap ass, you know, little plastic pen. And I like the stainless steel, real sharp pen. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm quite upset. I had to buy new pens. Either that or I'll find it rolling around on the floor somewhere. But we're gonna walk our way to the shipping office and see how far my microphone reaches. So, plug your ears if you hear any sensitive company information. Because, you know, I'm kind of a private person. I don't want everyone in my business. Even though I do have a YouTube channel. Brand new yard goat. Man. The yard goat's worth more than my truck. I don't see anyone in the office. Nobody's in the office. How you doing, brother? Uh, picking up, going to Stockton, California. Okay, what's your number? The five million number. Okay. Nine ten. Nine ten. I think it's forty-five seventy-nine. Nine ten, forty-five seventy-nine. Stockton, California. Excellent. Beautiful place. Never been. <laughs> <laughs> 
actually don't go. It's probably like the LA? the worst in LA really? by far. Yeah, yeah for wow. homeless and everything. Damn. Trailer number, seal number, twelve thousand pounds is all. Good times. Yeah. It means nine miles per gallon. Eleven pallets. Good glory. Okay. They'll still charge me like four hundred dollars for a lumper though. Oh, shit. Oh, really? Oh yeah. Oh, you got they go when uh yeah, they take that sheet and they look at every damn thing and it takes you forever, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, on, on average, an unload is like three to five hours. Some guy with some other guy would tell me about it. Like it's just a nightmare to get unloaded. It's worse for refrigerated freight, you know, because it's high dollar and all that. But oh. Eight months? Eight, right? Yeah. Excellent. Thanks, man. Appreciate you, you help. A, an empty with you by chance? No, I didn't have a chance, okay. yeah. Yeah, I just came over from Campbell's and they didn't have any empties sitting there. Thought I'd ask. Uh, do I need to let dispatch know to get some over here? No. I, I can put a bug in there. No, we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Thanks, man. Yep, catch you later. Oh, well, that was pretty simple. That is a Kalmar Ottawa Type 2. Pretty fancy for a brand new... Uh-oh, I'm not standing on the lines. There. I'll walk in the damn lines. I'll comply with your goddamn OSHA rules. Actually, I should have went that way. There's no lines going to my truck. I should have friggin' quit. Okay. So, we know the trailer. And, uh... I don't want to leave you guys on the steering wheel there. Alright, we're looking for... 45... 79... Trailer looks like it's a little, a little tall. And if it is, I'll show you guys a secret. I have moved a lot of drop trailers in my life working for FedEx Ground. What do you think? Eh, that'll work. My uh, backup alarms kind of glitching. So this truck's got an aluminum fifth wheel on it and I don't like ramming it. I'll get underneath it there. And click. And a little bit of a tug. Um, I need to save fuel. So I'm gonna slide that fifth wheel all the way forward. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on now. Come on. Oh. Right in my. Right in my fifth wheel. Give it a little tug. Feels like it's locked in there. Now for the fun part. Bend over. I need to fart real bad, but I'm not sure what my liquid level is right now. Any of you that have worked in the propane industry will find that quite funny. Anywho, let's hook up the uh, 
the cold line and the hot line and the neutral line. As we start breathing hard. <sighs> Don't get out of shape, kids, man. I'm gonna pound on my glad hand because it's not sealing good. There we go. Lights are flashing. Let's air it up. Make sure the parking brake on the truck is set. Do a quick little walk around and grab that camera. And uh, I'm like a good boy, we're gonna pull out. Stop looking at my dick. There's a light. There's some tires. One of them's a little lumpy. They got centromatics, so I'm not too worried about them. I'll thump them later. Uh, 4579. Seal number is 717. Let's make sure everything is properly mounted and secure. That tire's got some weird. Is that under inflation, kids, or bad wheel bearing? Sounds like a tire. Probably tastes like one, too. There's a light. Oh, there's mosquitoes everywhere. That's why I'm so itchy. I think we got lights up there. Anyway, we got. We got some storms going on, coming up, and uh, hell, it should be should be an easy trip home. Just gotta put it in gear and go. Stand by. Oh, man, I hate being fat. I'm always catching my damn breath. But we're gonna. I'm gonna pull out so I can do a proper pre-trip. I'm gonna circle around. Don't mount your camera to your steering wheel, kids, unless you wanna do this. I didn't make everybody sick. Let's do it again. to come over here where I'm kind of out of the way and uh, I'm gonna turn to where I can get my cameras off because I've got cameras mounted on the back of my truck in weird places so thanks for riding along I gotta hold my steering wheel so you still got a camera angle um, I'll catch you kids later please like and subscribe and have a, have a day, have a day.
There we go. Watch me as I fall off my truck. Ah! Bye-bye.